Today's service is Okia Bay. The buoy thought that any attackers would have to very high emotions no today. I can't exactly describe it, no. but we feel very, very proud yes. of our ancestor and the and Royal Navy and of everybody else. And also, he was uh, two hundred years. He was with uh, two hundred years, and he was Nelson in with Nelson's Nelson fleet. Time. In Nelson's fleet. In Nelson's fleet. Yes. And we're very proud to be associated with, with him. him. That's right. Well, what happened is we found an officer, obviously an officer buried in a coffin, and he was lying in his uniform, uh, and he had coins on his eyes, and it was obvious that he was someone distinguished, uh, and there was writing on the coffin, and we, some of it had gone, the name had gone, but we had his age, and the date, 1801. So I went back to the records in London, and I spent three months going through the records, and then, bingo, I found um, that Captain James Russell of HMS Ceres, um, one, of, uh, one of the ships of the 1801 Expeditionary Force, had died of disease and it was written in the log he was buried on Nelson's Island. I think it's, uh, it has a special significance obviously because uh, this is the 200th anniversary this year of the death of Lord Nelson. Uh, and. Uh, we will be celebrating that through the year in the United Kingdom with a particular uh, naval review and many events towards the end of the year, which is actually the 200th anniversary of the Battle of Trafalgar. Uh, and coincidentally, of course, these remains were discovered here in uh, um, Abukir Bay. Uh, and I think it's, uh, it is appropriate um, that they should be buried with this honor uh, in Alexandria at this time.